let's welcome with me Dr. Helge Sachs. He is Senior Vice President, Product Innovation at Deal Aviation. Before, he was working for Lufthansa Technik, where he was um, Vice President, Innovation and Product Development. Of course, he is an aviation enthusiast at heart, but he's also a passionate musician and a fantastic saxophone player. Today, he is going to talk about seamless passenger experience, and I'm very looking forward to his talk very much. So, please welcome on stage. Thank Helga. you so much, Constanze. So, it's your party now. Thank you so much. Um, Great pleasure to be on board of this fabulous aircraft, the A380. And I would like to talk to you about what's actually behind the scenes of the smart cabin, enabling a smart user experience for passengers, crews, and MROs. For sure, it's not only the passenger experience, but it's also an experience for service staff and the crew. What is actually Deal, Deal Aviation? You won't find the logo of our company on board of this aircraft, but we are the main cabin interior supplier for aircraft service modules like galleys, lavatories, also the avionics equipments on board, crew rest compartments and aircraft systems. And what we are now transforming our company to is actually to the field of innovation excellence. We are developing our own products nowadays. So numerous products are already on board. It's no longer just that the airframe manufacturers tell deal what to do, but we're bringing trends in from innovation and digitalization and make it real and realize actually visions. So our ex-Chancellor Helmut uh, Schmidt has once said, if you have visions, you should see a doctor. Um, actually, I think we could rephrase it. It's always great to have visions, like the ones that Ingo Vugets are presented, like the 2030 um, cabin, the smart cabin of the future, but then also to have this roadmap, how to make it true, how to make it really happen. And this is what the cabin suppliers are nowadays doing. They are IoTing the cabin and actually connecting all the dots and the systems. Just for the tech-savvy people among you, um, just a, a little detail of how this is enabled and how also this um, streaming today is enabled. Um, so you have a cabin management system and Actually, all those functionalities in a, on board of an aircraft, if it's bring your own device, you have your smart devices like your iPhones or uh, your, your tablets, and also the monuments can be connected via what we call the cabin network server or the cabin network system. This is mounted onto the so-called cabin management system and they are all interconnected to different functionalities and controllers and thus it's actually becoming true that if a passenger wants to order food or if um, the maintenance staff needs to know which part has failed on board of an aircraft that he can actually supply the spare parts. This is actually will be realized by such a cabin network system. So we're currently also standardizing the communication protocols because it doesn't make any sense that all of these parts have different communication protocols. This is also done nowadays in Germany um, with a couple of different players. We're also doing this not only with Airbus, but also with Boeing. So these not only big data couldn't because we do not have the uh, sufficient bandwidth to actually have a downlink onto the ground. So we need to slice down the data and actually send smart data onto the ground. So if, for example, a component fails so that uh, the technician on the ground would know we ne what he needs to replace. All those activities are actually customer focused, customer centric, and we're seeing for a smart cabin user experience, for sure the passenger, which is our uh, utmost focus, um, but for sure, we're also seeing the airline itself, the fleet management, um, the crews, the maintenance and repair and overhaul providers, and the service providers like catering. So let me present to you the actors, because we want to we go together now through these customer journeys. Let's meet Brandon. He's a passenger. He's a digital native. He's always connected to his, his family members, to his business partners and friends. And he wants to be connected on board of his aircraft, of his flight. Then let's look at the, the, the airline members. We're meeting Sally, the flight attendant, and we're meeting Matt, the fleet manager. And then we're meeting Bob, the MRO guy, who wants to keep this aircraft always flying and technically 100% 
uh, in, a, in a proper state. So Brandon, he would go through his journeys on ground. He's uh, about to board the aircraft. Um, for example, he would love to have seamless entertainment. Um, he might, as Ingo has already talked about, he might look for additional booking options like a bookable bin and he could do this actually prior to boarding um, via a seamless connectivity. And actually the philosophy of the future will be bring your own device, whatever device that can be. Yeah? So this is what Brandon would feel like. The fleet manager, Matt, he would actually in the future, we're seeing a market for so-called white planes. So you wouldn't see actually a, a Lufthansa crane as a logo on board of an aircraft or um, as the Swiss logo, an Austrian logo, if you're just looking at the different brands in the Lufthansa group. But you would have a, a certain number of airplanes that are more or less white so that you can quickly, instantly rebrand the aircraft cabin and for sure, you need to have a number of technologies for this. We'd have in the welcome area, for example, OLED displays. We'd have projection systems for the ceiling panels. And we'd have advertisements uh, via ad projection systems, digital decoration, and so forth. So once you have boarded the passenger, you would have your own device that guides you to your seat and that shows you, okay, I'm on my seat, I have my bookable bin space that I reserved. I don't want to struggle with the other passengers. I have a reserved bin space and I will not participate in this fight for bin space. So you navigate it through the aircraft, through the airport, all by one seamless application on your device. So if it comes to Sally again, she would know, okay, which bin re, um, spaces are reserved and how, how the people, for example, also they can pay with miles or with Apple Pay, whatever uh, payment method you're choosing. And she would know what's actually the status of the overhead bins. Are they latched? Um, how about the bin weight? Is, and uh, are there actually other status? Is something broken? It would all be those data collected in one application and shown on handheld devices for all the crew. This is going to be true or come true in the very near future. If there are critical statuses, like there's an overweight status, uh, bin latches won't be closed, this would become immediately transparent to the crew so that they can directly fix the problem and not just look for it and always take care of these situations. The MRO guy on the ground would know, okay, something technically is wrong. We need to um, replace some part and repair something. Which spare parts need to be replaced and need to be provided once the aircraft has landed on ground. So Brandon is taking his seat and uh, he would be immediately welcomed, maybe in his feeder flight, just like from Hamburg that I took the flight today. I would land in Munich and like to go on now to Los Angeles, I would have a seamless user experience because I could start a movie and continue with it once I'm on the seat. I would have 100% Wi-Fi connectivity, uh, seamless user experiences for the passengers with a numerous um, possibilities. If it then comes again to the control options, he would be able to watch movies, to control the light, to purchase um, goods from an online shop and to even deliver these um, home and um, for example if you want to reserve the lavatory um, in the morning if you want to fresh up you could also um, do this um, via just your own device. Sally would ha always have a full understanding of how the passenger feels like. Um, computer vision and face recognition um, technology would be on board in the future of an aircraft so you'd know actually how the passengers feel. So, um, passenger health monitoring, um, but also are seat belts um, closed? Are the um, seat bags actually repositioned? Uh, what are the seat tables and so on? Are they all uh, latched when you're landing, when you're about to land? And for sure, if something goes wrong, once again, Bob would actually receive uh, this information. For example, are there the life vests expired or uh, any electrical functions of the seat going wrong, the little actuation motors? Um, whatever it is, we would have a full transparency and just slice down the data and send them onto the ground. So Sally, once again, in the galley, she would also have a smart galley uh, that would tell her uh, the status of 
water tanks, um, the grey water. Um, she would know um, the status of the consumables um, of orange juice and whatever um, food and beverages are on board and to what uh, consumption level they need to be replaced by the catering staff. The status of the waste bins. And once again, if something goes wrong, these parts can be immediately replaced. We're just about a test flying a smart galley on board of a Boeing aircraft, and uh, we are having really good experiences there. If it comes to the laboratories, um, the, the future passenger experience will be touchless, so you do not have to touch um, the toilet lid or um, the, uh, the, the soap dispensers um, or the doors. It would be completely a hygienic laboratory solution. And we are currently also experimenting with voice control um, and laboratories. It's one of the Crystal Karen Ward finalists also here at the IIX Americas. And um, we believe that what we are seeing in the smart home environment will also come true on board of aircraft in the future. A lot of ideas uh, are going to be realized there. For sure, Sally, once again, she would know anything about what um, the consumables like, um, like paper towels or the fresh water tanks and so on. What is actually, um, is, is the lavatory space, is it clean? She would have full transparency of what needs to be replaced. Uh, what needs to be cleaned. And once again, if something goes wrong, Bob again would have full uh, information on what needs to be um, actually maintained and repaired. So now when we are about to land the aircraft, uh, Brandon in his user experience, the seamless digital experience, he would actually have full information about how he can most seamlessly um, go through the airport, where his gate is, and what is the the quickest um, transition time that he can choose. Um, this would also be an information available um, while landing is prepared. Sally would also have um, the chance to know if the window blinds are closed and backrest reposition, tray tables and so on. If something goes wrong, she would have full transparency in the information. What needs to be done and in the end when the plane has finally um, landed and something needs to be maintained, um, Bob would have full access to the information that was actually already sent onto the ground, uh, particularly for minimum equipment list items, and then he can actually uh, maintain the aircraft cabin. If the cabin needs to be reconfigured, there's also technologies currently um, developed by Deal Aviation. For example, our passenger service unit rail track system, how we can quickly and flexibly um, move um, the seats because the PSUs can be reconfigured. That was a quick look on how we are reali realizing the smart cabin journey for all the different user groups, passengers, the crews, the fleet managers, the MROs and the caterers. Thank you very much for listening to my presentation. So, Constanze. Yeah, Helge. Thank you so much. Um, it's really fascinating to see what innovations um, will hopefully be part of the future um, cabin. So you talked about Brandon, your persona for the passengers. Um, what, in your opinion, is the innovation Brandon will love the most? To my mind, um, the future travelers are, are really digitally connected. So I think just as Lucas, as Engel told us, it will be the seamlessly digitally connected cabin that will probably benefit most to the user expectations of travelers in the future. To always have full access also to your preferences if you're using Netflix or yeah. Apple TV that you have seamless access to this. Yeah. And now please a very honest answer. Um, you talked about the smart cabin a lot. So how smart is actually this cabin of these aircraft today? I would say this today's A380 aircraft cabin is not yet as smart as it could be maybe now today uh, with the flying lab it's even much smarter but just look we're not even able nowadays to actually stream this video via the in-seat IV system one could do that but that needs to, uh, a lot of adaptation in the IV system so actually we believe there's a lot of space for improvement in the future yeah. And a lot of opportunities for you, I guess. <laughs> we hope so. Yeah. Thank you very much, Constance. Thank you so much for all these insights.